let us look at proposition number 4 of book 5 of elements the proposition says that if a first magnitude has to a second magnitude the same ratio as a third to a fourth then any equimultiples whatever of the first and third also have the same ratio to any equimultiples whatever of the second and fourth respectively taken in corresponding order so what this basically means is that if the ratio of a and b that is a is to b is the same as or is equal to c is to d then if you take any equimultiples of a and c their ratio will be equal to any equimultiples of b and d okay let's see how we can show that now remember a is two times b remember if we are here we have just taken it as two it could be anything so we have taken it as two times b and naturally which means that c also has to be two times d because they have to be in the same ratio the magnitude of this could be different b and d may not be equal but the ratio of a to b should be equal to the ratio of c to d let's say we have e and f which are equimultiples of a and c so here again e is two times a f is two times c and let g be three times b and h be three times d so which means what if we take k and l as equimultiples of e and f then it will boil down to what that here you have two times e but e is two times a a is two times b so depending on how, where you want to do the comparison we can say k is two times e four times a or eight times b similarly l is two times f or four times c or eight times d now let's look at m this is again three times g which means it is nine times b similarly n is three times h which means since h is three times d we can say n is nine times d but remember we are interested in in e is to g f is to h if k is greater than m then l will also be greater than n if k is equal to m then l will also be equal to n if k is less than m then l will also be less than n based on the definition you will have to look up the definition definition number five of book five we can say that e is to g as f is to h or in simple terms what this means is that if this ratio ratio of a to b and c is equal to c to d then any equimultiples would be equimultiples of a and c will have the same ratio as the ratio of any equimultiples of b and so that is proposition number four of book five of Euclid's Elements. Again, let me remind you there is a link to a PDF book which describes all these propositions in detail. Please feel free to download it, refer to it, and if you think somebody else can also benefit from it, please do share. That's it for now. 